So this is the day therapy unit at Chris O'Brien Lifehouse. So there's chemotherapy, targeted therapies, blood transfusions, as well as supportive care treatments, all for oncology patients, so patients with a diagnosis of cancer. Two and a half years ago, I was given seven months to live and I'm still here. Cancer first in 2014, um, in remission for a year and a half, and back again this May. So it's been a long journey. If you keep turning up, you're probably doing pretty well. The thing about cancer is you have to learn to be patient. That's it. You, you wait. I come in here at about sort of 8.39 in the morning and I'll be sort of connected, generally about sort of seven or eight hours a day. The smell of the place puts you off, the smell of the wipes, and you get really sensitive to things. I like to play on the iPad or read a book or go to sleep. But I would love to be able to escape sometimes. I have moments when I get depressed or frightened or whatever, and that would be wonderful. Allowing patients to escape the experience of chemotherapy. Hello, how are we doing? Can be good for them during the treatment and gives them a bit of space to forget about what's going on. And even settings like the, the waiting area for day surgery where patients are even more anxious than they usually would be. Yeah, that's good. I'm looking down on the earth. Can I actually touch? No. <laughs> oh my God. Sitting here waiting, watching TV, I'd rather sit here for an hour and watch virtual reality. Okay. Whoa. It takes you to another planet, another world, another part of the world, you're there. Do I swim? You finished? Yes, beautiful. <laughs> that was fantastic. That's there awesome. Is. Yeah, that was, that was great. Oh, you get carried Did away. You enjoy that? It's different. Did you enjoy that? Really? Yeah. It's all different. It's beautiful. From a utilisation point of view, you know, they're quick to put on, you don't need a prescription for it, they're effective and the patients like them. So yeah, I can see it definitely being a part of our practice in the future. My kids would love this. Yeah, it certainly like distracted me from sort of like being hooked up and, and sort of where I am, definitely, which is, is a good thing. It's in dream. <laughs> I try to hide yeah. my worry, but that he doesn't see me worried. But now it's gone. <laughs> Helps a lot. Thank you. Some people may never get the chance to travel again. This might be their last time. This sickness has them. To be able to sit there and look at something like that and get a taste of another culture or another place, that's amazing. I think that's a gift, really. Have you had a look in those things? I have. Did you have mm. fun with it? Oh, beautiful. And I know a lot of people here are very get very upset and it's important for them to be taken away, you know, go away somewhere else. That's lovely. That's a lovely thing. <laughs>